Hello everybody, hello besties. I am doing a get dinner with me. I feel like now that I'm gonna be pumping out content like crazy, that I should be, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend needs to thirst over someone really quickly. Uh, I wanna like put out like, you know, every few videos can be something a little bit more personal. Um, something where we like get to know each other so i want to go to this restaurant called i don't know what it's called um but it's like international food like literally from like everywhere like they have indian food and italian food and greek food and like all kinds of western food and usually places like that aren't very good but somehow this place um is able to do it <laughs> so i'm excited and you guys can like you know grab whatever you're eating and we can like eat together and kiki and gossip and all of that so yeah um i am being joined by my uh, <laughs> he's thirsting again sorry <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, I live in Taipei right now and I live in this district called the Xini District and that is where the 101 building is. You can actually see 101 from my apartment, but I can't see it right now. Hold on. Wait, where is 101? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, hold on. So I never, I never knew that there was food around here because honestly, this neighborhood is pretty dry. But I was craving pizza one day and I was like looking up on the internet and stuff and like hacking the system. And I found out that there was like this place like nearby. So I'm coming here again. It's really good. And I can't wait to um, shoot all of the foods. I also took a pre-meal um, vitamin gummy. For those of you that know, you know. Some of you are real hungry. <laughs> um, and for my fashion ladies, what am I wearing? That's my signature outfit cam. This is it again. I'm wearing my f absolute favorite jacket from Versace, Adidas shorts, my Fendi slides, and Versace socks. And if you're upset with my choices, then that's okay. So I brought a tripod to film, but there are a lot of people here and I am feeling very uplifted by this vitamin gummy. <laughs> so I don't know how I feel about setting that up, but let's take a look. Just so you guys can get a vibe of what I'm talking about. There's so much stuff. Okay, so firstly, it's salubrious a word. I've never heard of that word. Um, but I'm sure it is one. But they have breakfast here. It's not breakfast hours right now, but look at all of that, okay? We have all of these salad options. Oh my gosh. Sandwiches. Pizza. The pizza's really good. I got the pizza last time. Burgers, pasta, pho, tikka masala, and then all of these like grilled platters. So. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of food here. It's like, it's not like one, you know, like one sort of like region. Uh, it's pretty, pretty diverse. I don't know what other place you can get a burger, pizza, and Indian curry and pho all in the same place. Okay, so we settled on a tikka masala, which is 320 NT, a yellow dal, which was 300 NT, a hot chocolate, and a chai latte, which were both 150 plus like 40 because we got oat milk. <coughs> so that comes out to about 
six, seven, eight, nine, about a thousand NT for two people with two meals and two drinks. That's about 30 US dollars. Um, which I think for the quality of food here, I think it was like pretty good because in San Francisco at least, if I were to eat at a restaurant like this in San Francisco, how much do you think it would cost? Oh my god, I would say maybe like definitely over $40. I feel like it would be like 25 Per plate. per plate, like a yeah. tikka masala with rice. The rice wouldn't even be included. <laughs> it would be a tikka masala for twenty dollars, and then if you want rice, add three fifty. Yeah, I would say this meal in San Francisco would probably cost about sixty dollars total. Maybe more if you're at like a really nice Indian restaurant. But I would say even like ones like the one in Daly City. I feel like we if we got this meal from that one, it would cost about fifty to sixty bucks. That's like a pretty like regular restaurant. I guess not like super fancy, it's just like good Indian food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for Taipei, I think definitely like um, 500 NT per plate is is a little is a little pricey, but for the quality of food, uh, it's pretty good. I was talking with Miguel, who is sitting right here, who would like to re remain anonymous. <laughs> that um, when I take these like pre-meal vitamin gummies sometimes I do have a little bit of anxiety but like I feel like I just kind of like deal with it you know and I don't know why because anxiety is not a fun feeling but I think I've just had like such terrible anxiety attacks in my life that I've really powered through some like situations where I just feel like I'm literally gonna die. Like I remember one time I was at this music festival and I was with my friends. Shout out to Emily. <laughs> if you're watching, leave a comment if you are and if you don't, then you're like super fake again. <laughs> yeah, like one time I was at this music festival and I like I just like had to go to the, like the medic tent. There was nothing wrong with me. And it's always a blast because they basically what they do is they take your vitals and they decide that like you're not dying. And so obviously they know you're having an anxiety attack, so they basically just kind of like play with you until you feel better. But they kind of just like treat you like like a kid basically. Like I remember one time I was like doing lunges with this girl in the medic tent. I've, I've had my experiences in the medic tent. <laughs> Never close to death, but Wait, always- lunges? Yeah, because I think I was having like trouble walking. My first rave ever, I should do more story times. My first wave ever, I couldn't walk the next day. But I feel like I was starting to feel that when I was at the medic tent. So we were, I don't know, we were just playing, but we were doing lunges. Remember I was like licking my hand and the girl was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I just want to see if I'm dehydrated. I was just, because <laughs> I was also like, I took a pre-rave vitamin. <laughs> and... Wow. Did you see what I saw? Because that was a <laughs> Anyways, licked my hand and she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I want to see if I'm dehydrated. And she was like, that's not a thing. And I was like, oh, well, that's why you work in the medic tent and I don't. <laughs> so basically, I, um, changed my order from a tikka masala to a Balinese pasta because I can't really eat spicy and she said that it would be a little bit spicy and I wanted to do pesto but apparently cheese is cooked into pesto sauce which I never knew so I guess I've been eating cheese a lot without knowing um, but yeah so I got a Balinese she was supposed to ask if I could add chicken to it but she hasn't said anything to me despite setting my spoon and fork so I don't know I'm gonna have to talk to her manager about that
fighting for my life with these mosquitoes right now. So as you saw, this is the hot chocolate. It is so good, it's so deep, so rich. I have this theory that in Taiwan they like don't have like the, like the hot chocolate like instant mix, and so they usually make it with like actual like I don't know like dark chocolate or something, but cacao. like cacao. <laughs> I don't. Know. I guess. But it, the, the, all of the like the chocolate milks that I've had here are a very like deep flavor. Like it's not like a milk chocolate. It's like a milk. With chocolate. It's like a chocolate bar melted in your mouth as a drink. That's how I would describe it. Yes. It's like with. You got any games? So I got my Balinese pasta with chicken. I told her I didn't eat cheese. But I'm sure it tastes really good, so it's okay. And it's I think it's Parmesan, which I believe doesn't really have much lactose. Let's go ahead and try this pasta. Oh my gosh. Swish it around. Much more stiff than I anticipated. Too for real. Damn, okay. I was expecting it to just for twist real. around your pork. I'm like punching the fuck out of it. <laughs> It smells good though. It smells, it smells really good. good. I'm, uh, it smells divine. Oh no. I've had better pasta. It's giving me like noodles with water. Like I have it, but like it's it's so flavorless. I really don't like this. Let's try the chicken. Chicken is really dry. Wow. I'm like pretty disappointed because the pizza was really really good. And now I really wish I had a pizza. Oh no. I mean, pasta is pasta, food is food. I'm grateful to be able to eat, but I'm also allowed to have an opinion. And I think that this pasta is pretty bad. But finding good pasta in Taiwan is a mission. <laughs> mission impossible. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I've never like had. I would say like authentic, authentic pasta. But I would think that this is not what it tastes like. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, really? It's good. <laughs> I can see what you mean though about like it's there's too much flavor that there's no flavor. Maybe I just need to like mix it more. I there there so is like meat a big sauce. Clump of sauce. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Actually, I do like this pasta. <laughs> Damn, you have a talk issue. <laughs> Apparently, you need to mix the noodles with the sauce to get the flavor. I didn't know that. Yes. It's pretty good. <laughs> the chicken is still dry though. I'm not gonna lie, the chicken is dry. We need your first impressions. But I'm only yeah. eating the rice. What do we think of the rice? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. It's like cream or something. I don't know. Just mix it. Oh yeah, that's what good. Like the rice. Oh, okay. <laughs> is okay. It's just I don't know what that is on top. I know. I'm like. You know what? You could have just not flavored it at this point. Yeah. <laughs> because I what is know. that? I would have. I feel like white rice would have made sense, but with that like dash of spice, it almost feels a little bit like disrespectful. <laughs> like, <laughs> like ooh, fancy. <laughs> uh, that will either be really good or really bad. I don't know what to expect. 
It kind of looks like Japanese curry. Like, it's not really first impressions. Oh, dude, hold on. Get, get it a little further. Get the camera out my face. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's good. It's good. I actually like it. Okay. I think all that cream was a bit much. Yeah, I feel like it probably should have scooped some of that out. But it's good. It's good. It's really soft. Well, here's the full meal, guys. Now I'm gonna try this doll. The chickpeas are actually not that bad. The chickpeas are so good. Mm. Oh, yeah, but this literally tastes like curry mixed with sour cream. Mm -hmm. Like this literally tastes like sour cream. Like dead ass. Oh, it made it very sour. The rice is not good. The rice is not it. Oh God. I was thinking about doing like another Q&A but for like escort work because I feel like a lot of people have so many questions I feel like so many people are really like curious when I tell them what I do and so I think that would be really fun um, and a good way to like educate people on different ways of, of life different ways of living and maybe inspire some people you know to get their side hustle on yeah, if that's something that you would be interested in, then you know, you can let me know. I am not sure of the success of this... Oh fuck, I have the hiccups. Of this dinner time, get dinner with me, dinner review, food critic era <laughs> video. But, um, this was my, this was my dinner. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this journey. Thank you oh, so much. Um, like, subscribe, follow, share this with your friends. Tell everyone about it. Uh, and see you like with whatever I do next time. Okay, bye.